Hello once again, boys and girls in Candyland. Um, so I guess we're gonna start tearing apart this this uh, Triumph here. This 500 T100, whatever you want to call it, T100. It's 500 cc. Um, so getting engine tear down. It's always top end down. In building and rebuild it's bottom end up so you tear them down you always go from the top end down and take piece by piece work your way from the top down put it back together start from crank cases flywheel pinion crankshaft all that good stuff work your way up so uh it's an English bike so uh saw Whitworth I, I have some of my Whitworth stuff I lost some of my stuff or some of my shit got like gaffled or I fucking brought it to the shop, one of the shops and was like, oh, I had it all bundled up and fucking got my shit running and got all nutted in my pants and was like, oh, and took off without my shit and left like half my Whitworth shit there because I'm like, where's all my fucking Whitworth? But it was Whitworth. So uh, the spoiler right here is T fitting. Locker boxes comes down. Oops. Uh, you know, got your oil bag, got your feed, your scavenge, your different names for it. You know, is fucking return feed, whatever scavenge. Uh, uh, it's like people. Some people there's a, a lay shaft or a counter shaft. It's like uh, the same shit. It's just Harley's is one and. Triumph is calls it the other, you know. Harley's calling counter shaft. Uh, most English people call them a lay shaft. A main shaft, pretty much everyone calls it a, a main shaft. So, um, so we're going to start with these. These are your motor mount brackets, your oil. So, tippity top. Like, we don't have stuff that don't work. We're going to see if uh, the old, uh, the old uh, American shit will work because uh, half the shit like I said I got sockets so I'll probably just break those out but a lot of this hardware you know it should be mm. Just uh, rolled it up. It's like half of my open-end, closed-end shit. It's like gone. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I cuss a lot, don't I? But, uh, I have my socket. It's my lower socket. So, oh, that was that was pretty easy. I got a stand coming. It's I mean, it's not here though right now. So I know I'm gonna get all the funny comments on YouTube like, what a fucking idiot. This guy is fucking retarded. But hey, you know, never said I was a rocket scientist. So what I do is when I'm working on a bike, I always get like one of these. And every little section, you know, like every bolt you take off, like the rows, and you get them, right? Like here's an empty one, right? It's a red and white one, right? So like you open it up. And like all the first shit goes here, dude, dude, dude. As you take shit up, just top in, top all the way down. And all your stuff's here, you're not gonna lose it. You know, you might label it, triumph, whatever, you know. So every nut and bolt has a place, you know. And even if you can't remember like where it came from, you can pretty much guess because it's all chronological. All you gotta do is look at it and go, okay, well, this was the highest bolt. The next highest bolts are these. Next one, do, 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 as it goes down, you know, and it's just following the road. It's like leaving the crumbs in the forest on the way to grandma's house. You know? What big eyes you have there, Timmy. So, uh, you're getting weird. That's all right, though. It's all fun. I gotta, I gotta build this fucking thing, get this done, so. Um, and also, another 
cool thing you can do instead of like, especially when it comes to, when it comes to turning, breaking it down, it doesn't really matter if you use uh, power, pneumatic shit, you can use a uh, pneumatic like air tools or battery powered like uh, Yobi or Craftsman shit, you know? Okay, we're back. I found it. So what I was looking for was this doodad from there. It goes big to small. So Whitworth socket goes on here, right? Big to small. Half inch to, to, you know, you see how big that is? So like here, right? And then I'm like... some speed speed kills just remember so, the reason why I say it's uh, cool to do this when you're um, taking shit apart it's okay but when you put shit back together um, you don't want to like just everything has to be torqued to spec so if it's not uh, you know if you just get on here and start blasting shit down you're gonna fuck shit up. It has to be like two spec, like torqued. And if it's uh, not, if you, sh you know, have too much on it, torque on it, you're gonna fuck shit up. Shit's gonna get all. Damn, even the magnet doesn't wanna pull this fucker out. This, this nut's been a little buggered up, so it was hard to get out of there. Okay, so, you know, a lot of people take pictures, you know, I just set them down here for the beginning my meantime or whatever if you use a rag or whatever you're at like shit doesn't fall off like i'm in a pretty clean environment secure so we have an earthquake i should be okay so you can see this anyway, yeah, so. there's that one so and then these just come right off like that these go on the bottom of your frame like your backbone like underneath your tank they see your top motor mounts so heel and heel. So you know. Let's see what else we got here? So I might need a deep socket. That one I don't. This one's okay. Oh boy, oh boy. This is gonna be fun, fun, fun. So bust out some of these elements. Uh, you could, you know, spray like a uh, penetrant, like if you think this shit's like, if it's like so rusty, it's been sitting outside for like 20 years, the barn fine or something. Like this stuff, this bike was outside for a bit, but it wasn't outside in so long that like, I feel I have to heat anything up or like spray like, you know, some nut buster or WD or some shit that's going to, you know, over, let it sit overnight so they'll get all the corrosion and rust where the nuts will break free without... Because you can snap these studs, and then you're into a whole different, you know, kind of bullshit. You're in here trying to repair shit and tap and drilling shit out, broken, you know, threaded studs and shit out of the head and all. So you don't want to do that. So, you, you know, this one should be okay. Though. Yeah, so we're okay here. So, and our pictures are always nice. So as you take it apart, you can uh, identify where everything went. Like, you know, I got these two, and they're both probably the exact same, like you can see. But one's like a castle, you know, a round top, and the other one's just like a regular nut with the round ones in the front. Like, you know, whatever, if you're trying to do it exactly the way it was, then you would take a picture or have a photographic memory like grandpa and you see there's like these nice little uh, doodads under them there wasn't one on the back but yeah you got this one it's like a washer but it's uh, not made out of steel you know it's like a what would it be like neuropene or some crap so ta-da there's an oil line that's off. Just sit that right there. Don't want to start losing stuff. 